Hey friends, welcome back. So I discovered this Figma plugin called Breakpoints and I had to share this with you. So with this plugin, you can actually visualize how your designs would behave on a browser for different screen size specifications without coding. Friends, let's get into it. Okay, so here I have three screen size specifications, a desktop screen 1440 pixels, a tablet screen 834 pixels, and a mobile screen 430 pixels. So first, let's install the plugin called Breakpoint. And to do this, I'll right click on the file, select plugins, go to manage plugins, search for Breakpoint, double click on it or click on run. Okay, great. So after installation, we can now select and use the plugin. And to do that, right click again on the file, go to plugins and select breakpoints. Amazing guys. So now let's click on the button, new adaptive layout and a frame would be created and the text on the frame reads, there are no breakpoints. So let's add some breakpoints. Okay. So basically what this means is as an example, how do I want my designs to be displayed on the browser when the page size falls between 320 to 429 pixels as an example, or when the page size falls within 430 pixels to 834 pixels, or when the page size or width falls between 834 pixels to 1440 pixels. So these are all breakpoint specifications. Of course, these are not um, definite and can always change, okay? So let's go ahead and add these ranges. So clearly I have design specifications for 430 pixels, a mobile screen, 834 pixels, a tablet screen, and 1440 pixels for desktop screen, okay? So I'll add these as breakpoints, and to do this, I'm going to click on this plus button, click on the plus button again, and now we have three ranges of breakpoints. We have 320 to 600, 600 to 960, and 960 to 1280. But you guys, these do not match my design specifications. So I'll go ahead and change this to 430, which is the same page width as my mobile screen design. I'll change this to 834 pixels for my tablet layout. And I will change this to 1440 pixels to match my desktop design specification. Okay. Okay, guys, let me zoom in so you can see this clearly. Okay. So notice this ruler with my specified breakpoints is created. Okay, from the breakpoints plugin window, click on the first plus icon and it says select the frame used as the master layout for 320 to 429. So I'll select my mobile screen and it changes my design into a master component. And you see the first plus icon changes into a checked purple bar. So I'll select the next plus icon and it says select the frame used as the master layout for 430 to 833. And for this, I'll select the tablet design, which is 834 pixels and the last plus icon for the desktop design layout. Okay. Okay, you guys, so all are checked and we are good to go. Okay. So notice what happens here, you guys, a single frame is created. And if I resize the width of this frame, when I get to 834 pixels, the page behavior changes to match my tablet design specifications. And when I increase the page width further and I get to 1440 pixels, the page layout adopts my design specifications for desktop screen. For example, here I have three image cards on one room. And for the 430 pixels, it changes back to my mobile design specifications. You guys, how amazing is that? And by the way, guys, if you missed my video on how to make your web design responsive, then I highly advise you watch that video because you would be able to learn how to use constraints and auto layouts to set up your designs before you can use the Breakpoint plugin, okay? Thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, then please subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave a comment so I can bring you amazing content every week, okay? Bye friends.